Hello Scorpio! Thank you for tuning in to your general read. For the main part of the read, I'm using the Psychic Tarot for the Heart Oracle deck by John Holland. Which, it says tarot, but it doesn't really feel like a tarot deck to me. But, you know, I'm giving it a shot. Um, and the support of Oracle cards, the Magical Spell card, nope. The Magical Unicorns Oracle cards by Doreen Virtue. I've used the other one so long. It's on, you know, it's on 8-track. Jeez. That one again. Okay. Hmm. Let's see how this goes. I have to admit, the, this deck is interesting to read. Um, it's, it's, it's more on the intuitive side, and I get that, but... Let's see if I keep using it. I might switch. <laughs> um, going into this time. Now, I was seeing this for Pisces, because this is how the Pisces one started, too, with the crown chakra, which is interesting. Um, this, and I feel like it's the same for you. When the crown chakra is involved, a lot of times I've noticed this is like a spiritual growth moment. This isn't just like fun and games. I don't feel this is the sun card, I have to be honest. And it says seven. I don't know what that number that is in the tarot deck. But for me, this is feeling like this is not the easiest moment, but there's growth here. And it's in the center of what's happening. Whatever the situation is that actually occurred, you definitely had some spiritual growth here. And I'm getting what came of it towards you, and it could have been more after the fact than during the situation, more after the situation happened. You got true. Like, you know, you knew what the truth was here. You knew what you needed to do. You knew, you knew how to move on from it. And I'm getting, because it feels like past tense. Like, after it happened, you knew how to take on after it, after or from it, or take what to take from that moment to actually grow. Um, it wasn't the easiest moment. I'm getting during the moment. That might have been really hard. It seems like more after the fact that you seem to pull yourself together and been like, wasn't the best situation, but I can see where maybe I made some less than optimistic or met less than the best decisions. But during the time, I did the best I could. Okay. Now, I also have this as leading into you on your side, the seek card. You learned some things about yourself from this situation is what I did get. Um, that cricket outside is driving me nuts. <laughs> um... You got seek here, because I feel like you learned something about yourself here. Um, things might have gotten a little out of control. It's intuitively coming through. Like things might have, like somebody, this spiritual moment where you grew, like somebody really tested you. Somebody really pushed you. And you reacted. You had an honest reaction. But I feel like after the fact, you're looking at the situation like, you know what, this person was asking for it, and I, <laughs> I served it to him. Uh, piping hot. I served it to him. And it wasn't that, it wasn't about, and after the fact, it's not about who deserved what. I feel like you're looking back like, you know what, I just, they may have, you know, they may have played my emotions against me a little bit, and I don't like that. And I feel like the seek care for you is kind of like, I don't like, I don't like it that people can push my buttons and it just seems to have a reaction. Whether they deserved it or not, whether they deserved it or not, it doesn't seem to be what the. That's not the question here. That's not what it's about. It's about somebody pushing your buttons, and you having a reaction, and you're just like, I don't want people to be able to just push my buttons, and get a reaction out of me. I want to have more control over that. I. That's where I feel like this is going, because I feel like you're taking the stance like I need to be empowered, to not let people just push my buttons. And it, it seems to come, it circles back around, like, it doesn't matter if they deserved it or not. That's not what this is about. This is about, I want control about how, how I react to somebody. Um, I, feeling what I feel is one thing, but I want to be able to contr control that emotion. Okay. Now, in the center, I'm getting the shine moment here about you, you know, taking ownership about the situation and how you're reacting to things. You want that control. You don't want anybody else to have that control. And I'm getting like, you're looking back, like, I can see where this person was, you know, revving me up. I'm getting that's a big piece here. Revving me. I can see where this person saw me getting upset. They were pushing my buttons. They knew they were going to get to me. 
and they they revved me up and they and then I took I took off and I did I, I and I feel like that's where you're standing like yeah they they knew they were gonna get me and you know I gave it to them and they got a lot more than they bargained for but I can see when I'm looking back at this where they were revving me up they saw they were getting to me they were they saw they were starting to push my buttons and they went for it and they didn't realize they were gonna get what they got from me but I don't want the fact I don't want somebody to have that ability to do that to me. And I'm feeling like you're looking back like, uh-huh, I see where the, I was giving these signals and they saw it. And I don't, I don't want that to happen again, so I need to look at a different way to handle this. Um, I am going to put this in here at this point. I'm Pisces, another water sign. Uh, so I can relate to this somebody like, grabbing your emotions. <laughs> like they know that they're getting to you and they just keep feeding into it until they get what they want or get what they think they want. Um... So I'm going to throw this in here. Paul McKenna, the book is I Can Mend Your Broken Heart. You don't have to use it for just that, but it, there's exercises in there. As a Pisces, my heart get, like usually leads me along, and I just kind of sometimes I'm along for the ride because I feel like this is similar, similar to that type of feeling. There's exercises in there that will show you how to um, detach yourself from somebody who is trying to mess with you and get control of an emotion to where you can react the way you want to react and take that power away from somebody else who's pushing your buttons. Um, so if that's an issue for you and this reading is hitting, maybe that's something that'll help you. Because I feel like if this is hitting, for the people this is hitting for, you can see where somebody was revving you up and they knew they were doing it and they thought they were going to get the upper hand. I don't feel like they really did. They probably got a lot more than they bargained for. But still, it's not about that. It's about you don't want somebody to have that ability to rev you up and move you forward like that. You don't want to give. You don't want somebody to have that ability. Now, the other side of this situation is the base chakra, and I'm getting what that is saying here. It's not about a situation. It's not about somebody in particular messing with you. It's about you know what is triggering you. What is hurting you? What is upsetting you that's pushing you over the edge to where somebody can do this to you? Because I feel like you're, you're digging down and you're like, why was that person able? Like, what, what type of cues were they getting from me? And like, for example, if they were pulling on your heartstrings something about your family and they started like throwing darts at your family and that was like, that's a button that they, that's not cool. And they like, what was I doing where they realized they were, they were making some headway there? Even if they were saying things that were flat out untrue, why was that upsetting me? If they were accusing certain people of doing certain things that you know are not even possible for those people to do, why was that triggering you? Like, how was that able to do that? And I'm getting, you're getting into the root of it. Like, why, why did that really, why did that click in with me? Why was that able to pull me forward? I understand they were getting the, the signals from me. They realized it was working. Why was it working? One of those things. Like, this person didn't have enough information or whatever to even have that to use against me. Why was I allowing that? Why was that working? Because I get it. It's not about the person. It's about it's about people being able to do that. It's, just, it's not just specifically that person because I feel like you're even going to the part where this person was able to do that. But I can see past times other people unrelated to this one pull, pushed my buttons the same way. Why is this able to do this? How come this clicks with me so much? Why is this able to hurt me like that? and get that charge from me. All right, now where you're going forward, because you're really, I feel like if this is what clicking with you, you're really looking at this very deeply and like, I don't like this. I don't want people doing that to me. I don't want people having that power. What What is it about this is it's triggering me? What's my trigger? That's very much a, a catchphrase lately. I'm noticing online, what's my trigger? Um, But it's true, what do you want? You want to know, what is it? Because I don't want people to be able to get to that. I don't want people to be able to touch my trigger. No, I don't want that. Now, I'm getting, you are really deep, deeply looking at this. Like, what is it? You're researching, maybe you're, um, maybe you're researching cool down methods. You're researching, maybe you're using a Paul McKenna book. Maybe you're using something else. You're finding a way to overcome this because you're like, I can't. I, I don't want people to. It's not like you can't afford other people to be able to do that to you. You do not want it, and you will not accept it. That's how I'm feeling. Like, no, people cannot. I cannot allow people to do this. I do not like this. I do not want that. The healing is coming forward, and I feel like you have a couple things coming in with you. you got brothers and sisters. Now, for me, this card is like 
talking to somebody that means a lot to you, somebody you trust. This could actually be like a best friend. This could be a partner. This could be somebody you trust that you can run this by about what's happening, how you felt, what you don't want to happen. Somebody you trust to see things the way through your eyes and to understand the goal about where you want to go with this. You don't want this happening again. You want to have more control over this. Um, and I'm getting, the light is coming in like somebody is helping you figure this out and you're finding a way to take care of this. You're finding ways to deal with it. You're honestly going towards it. You're addressing it like that happened. Somebody pushed my buttons and they saw that they were doing, they were rubbing me up. I seem to not be able to stop it, but I'm not going to let that happen again. And the light coming in, like, I feel like that's divine inspiration. I feel like that's a better way to say that. When it says light, and I get that that says, see the light within yourself and everyone else, blah, blah, blah. I'm getting this is more about you're having that moment where you're like, you're taking control and you're finding a way to heal from this and not let life hold you down. You're like, yeah, you're not like just looking at it like, you know, sometimes I get out of control or sometimes people push my buttons and there's nothing I can do about that. You're not, you're not going for that. You're like, yes, sometimes people see that they're revving me up and they push my buttons and I, and I go off, but there's a way for me to get a hold of this. There's a way for me to grab that whole control from somebody else. Even when they start pushing my buttons, there's a way for me to grab hold of that and be like, all right, that's enough for you. I'm not going to let you do any more of that and I'm going to take control of this moment and I'm going to re react the way I want to, not the way you want me to. Because the balance is coming in on your side. You're taking complete control of this. This is my life. These are my emotions. Nobody else has the right to push my buttons or pull an emotion out of me that I don't want to share with somebody. Now, you go from heal, heal to healer. And you have the power to help other... And pfft, whatever. Um, I don't feel like this is about other people. I don't feel like this is about you helping someone else. I'm getting like you are actually coming to a spot where you're finding a way to handle this and next time something like this comes around and eventually it will, you have things in place in yourself like what you're going to do to like turn this off or take that power from someone else. For heal, heal going to healer, I actually feel like you, you have things in place to handle this next time and they're promoting that. Like find out what works for you. What do you need to do to desensitize yourself from this so that you know you're not going emotionless, but you're not allowing somebody else to have that ability to rev you up and move you forward and you know set you off. You're not allowing that. You know that it happens. You've addressed it. You've, you've come forward honestly to yourself like that does happen. This, this happens to me. The heal going to healer is telling me you have things in place. Um, I can't remember the... Palma kind of... I'm trying to think. There's something about graying things out like graying out a situation and like playing it in your mind at the same time and like taking that power away from somebody to really set you off or get a charge from you to get a reaction from you. There's a, there's something about graying something out. If you're interested, I recommend that book. I know it's not for everybody, but it worked for me because um, and I've said this in other readings, personal readings. I don't think I've said it on like my channel readings. I was in a toxic situation and I was afraid somebody was really going to set me off because they did something that was really across, they really crossed the line. And I was afraid that I wasn't going to be able to deal with that person without screaming in their face. <laughs> and that was not an option for what I was dealing with. And that book actually calmed me down to the point where I could actually work with that person and deal with that person without getting upset and without like, the emotions coming up. It was a very toxic situation, and I'm still kind of shocked that I was able to do that. But it worked very well, because I really thought I was just going to like have a moment and just scream in this person's face, and I didn't do it. Um, <laughs> so, I'm just saying, that might work for you. Anything else with this? Alright, I feel like we're good with that. I'm going to rest end that there. Thank you for watching. Of course, if you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, james at gmail.com. That's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. Thank you.